Hi everyone, it's me Raki. In this video, I'm going to show you that how I made this human in loop social media agent in Anitin. And instead of posting everything by itself, it needs my response and also the classification before every post. And that's the agent I'm using. And for the social media, I'm using the X, which is formerly the Twitter. And to communicate with this agent, I'm using Telegram. And let me show you the demo how it works, okay? I just open my agent inbox, which is the Telegram. And if I just go with this command where I said post it to it on the latest update about US tariff and if I just kind of like go with that and here you can see our AI agent started working and here I'm using SARP API to get the latest news so that this agent can use the Google to search on internet and you can see that it actually giving me a request feedback so if I just open that it says Rakin is it okay then it's showing me uh, the tweet actually just generated it says latest US tariff update global trade tensions continue to escalate as new tariffs are ordered expect potential new duties on pharmaceuticals imports and semiconductors by august 1st plus talks continue for a use india tariff deal stay informed and hashtag us tariffs hashtag uh, global trade and if i just kind of like give my response like what kind of things it have to do or is it okay or not kind of like this thing we just go with respond and if we just go with open and it will just open a response box and in this case i'm just going with make that little shot and also add here what will be the impact on the global economy in the next five years for this if i just go with submit so right now it will actually just come with a new tweet and you can see that uh, this agent i just made which is a re-edit agent and this agent actually just make a new tweet and again it just came with the new tweet and if we just open this and it says racking is it okay right now um, U.S. tariff update, newer duties on pharma, semiconductors expected by August 1st, U.S. India tariff talks ongoing and says five-year global impact, escalating trade tensions could disrupt supply chains, hinder global growth and fuel inflations, expect increased volatility, U.S. tariffs, hashtag global trade. And if I just kind of like go with this, respond and if I just say, yeah, that's okay, kind of like this thing, yeah, go with that. And you can understand that that's actually a positive sign to just load that on my X. Yeah, we just go with submit and you can see it actually upload that on my X. You can see that it actually uploaded on my X and also it actually sent a message to my agent. It, you can see that it says, Rakin, your tweet has been posted successfully. Okay, that's fine. And if I just go with uh, to my X, you can see that's my X account. I use that for my testing. And if I just kind of like, you know, refresh that thing and you will be able to see the, yeah, the tweet in here, you can see that like, latest us tariff updates global trade and yeah that's fine and let me show you that how it really works so if i just came to my ai agent and at the first you can see that i'm using the telegram node in here and if you don't know how to add telegram to entertain you can actually just go and watch that video where i actually shown that how to add telegram easily with entertain okay and here i'm using the telegram trigger node and for the messages and it's mean whenever actually a message will be came here it will actually work if we just go kind of like go with execute step and you can see it actually listening and in here actually i'm kind of like giving a uh, message kind of like this thing yeah i just kind of like go with submit and you can see that it actually listened and if i just go with kind of schema you can actually see everything in here and that's the actually text user actually send it and i'm sending this to our x post agent and this is used to generate the tweet and you can see that I should just you know kind of define below and in this place i'm giving the message which actually just get it from the uh, telegram which is this one i just kind of like go and just drag that in here that's it very fine and then i actually just given a system message and in here if i just open that you know i said like you are an ai agent responsible for creating twitter exposed based on the user request and then i just given three instructions which is always use the sorp api tool to search and find out the accurate current information about the topic then i secondly say write an informative engaging to it up to 280 characters then thirdly say do not output anything except the final tweet okay that's fine and then i'm just using uh for the chat model i'm using the gemini 2.5 flash and if you don't know how to use the gemini it's very easy just go to google ai studio then show that how you can use, use that go to google ai studio then you have to just go to in here and after that you have to just go to with get api key it's very easy and in this case you have to just go with create api key and you will be able to see a new api key and just kind of like this thing we just go with, go with this and if i just go with create api key and you can see a new api key has been created i just go with copy that's it and in here i just give the api key kind of like this thing 
yeah in this place i'll just give the api key that's it and if i just go to save you can see my api key has been saved successfully okay that's the thing in here and the next thing i'm using tool for the sharp api and the sharp api as i said i'm using this to search on google and in this place i just define that as a description that use this for search and then i said the method would be get and that's the url actually uh, make sure actually use this url and then i just uh, authentication is none then i actually send the queries i send the two queries and you can see that uh, the first one which is the api key and in here i actually given the api key if you go to swap api if you sign up there you will be able to come in this dashboard which is actually your home dashboard and you will be able to see your api key which is this one make sure you actually copy that thing and you have to just you know put that thing in here very easy and then you have to just you know enable an another query which is this one and in this case just give a queue kind of like this thing and in this place uh the search bar just make sure that you actually define by the ai model kind of this thing and give the description a little bit the search topic okay so like the ai model can understand that what will be in this place okay and yeah rest of the things i didn't touch anything okay that's it and that's how i actually added swarp api to our x post so that it can actually use uh the search bar or the google for searching and then I actually actually given these informations or the output of this x post so let me show you that how the output really looks like we just go with execute step and as you can see it's executing the node you can see that it actually using the sharp api and then it actually using the google gemini and it says that elon musk latest ventures include expanding the pacific ocean area and for spacex rockets and kind of like this thing okay so as you can see that actually used sharp api and also our gemini to actually give update news on elon musk latest project okay and then we actually just go with the set post and in this case it will be like this post and it will be the string and in here in the string and it will be between the curly braces a dollar sign json dot output it means whatever will come as an input it will be as the, the output as like post and if i just go and execute step you can see that that actually showing as a post so that it can work with the x post agent and also the re-edit agent as well and if i just go it kind of like this thing and in this case i actually just use this as a request feedback and uh, you can actually find this in here if you just go with kind of like add node and if you just kind of like go with human and loop and in this case you can see that like there are like bunch of human and loop which is like uh based on the response and if you just go with telegram in this case and you can actually see that thing which is uh, in here i'm using request feedback okay and in this case the thing is very simple i actually added my telegram then the resource will be message operation send and wait for response there are a bunch of operations in here but go with this thing send and wait for response and then the chat id in here the chat id you can find that inside the telegram trigger go in the telegram trigger and uh, under the chat you can actually find the id so i actually just you know drag and drop give the id in here that's all it is and then i'm using the message and in this case i'm actually uh you know manually just type that rocking is it okay then actually given the output of the you know edit field which is this one set edit and if i just kind of like delete that thing and if i show you that i just drag that and just put that in here that's all it is and then i just go with the response which is the free text and make sure you actually turn off the append and attribution okay and that's the thing and if you just kind of like open that and go with execute step and you can see that a request will come to my agent you can see that is it here and it says that like is it okay then actually you know uh showing the tweet actually it made and let me just go with kind of like respond and in this case if i just go with respond that kind of like go with add also here elon musk's mars project kind of like this thing you know uh if i just go with kind of submit i just came with the human response you can see that and then i'm giving this to text classifier which is this one and in the text classifier i just say that you know that's actually the text you know i've given the text in here and then i just given two categories first category is accept and the second category is reject and the further accept category this is the thing and then i said if the tweet get accepted by the user means the user doesn't want any kind of change and then go with that okay and the uh, category reject will be if the user wants any kind of change or reject that then make sure it actually goes with the reject branch and if i just go with kind of execute step and you can understand that this is actually a reject branch and you can see that it actually shows as a reject branch you can see that it actually goes with the reject branch and if it actually go with the reject branch it will actually go with this path and if it actually goes with the expert branch then it will go with this branch and in the branch it will be uploaded on the x and also it will send a message to our telegram and if i just kind of like go with this thing 
and in here it actually reject it mean it have to edit again and in this case i'm using the ai agent again i just made that as re-edit agent then i'm giving your agent is tool is agent and in here i'm giving the prompt here's the tweet to edit and actually giving the tweet which i get from set post and then i said it like here's the user feedback then actually just giving the user feedback which will be from the text okay and then i give an system message and in here i said like you are a tweet expert your job is to take an incoming tweet and edit that based on the feedback from the user okay that's it if i just go with execute step so right now we can understand that it will actually add uh what i just really need mars project in this case and it say that elon musk led ventures include this mars project expanding the traffic ocean area for spacex rockets and kind of like this thing drop four and ai chatbots okay fine and right now it will actually came here again which is the set post as i said the set post is actually working for two things the re-edit agent and also the ai agent and it actually just you know if i just go with execute step it will just go with this thing again and right now if i just go with this thing again and right now it will just you know show me the edited tweet which is this one yeah you can see that that's the uh, edited tweet if i just go with respond in this time and if i just go with open and in this case if i just go with okay go with that which is a accepted request and if i just go with submit and you can see that it will actually go with the classifier it will actually go to the accept branch you can see that here's the message okay go with that and then it actually uploading that on x and in the x you know the resource is between operation and the, for the text i'm actually giving the text from the x post you know if i just kind of like delete that thing and if i just kind of like go with this again okay that's it so this branch will be activated and we're just going to like go with execute step you can see that this tool has been uploaded to my x and also the last which i'm using the telegram node and kind of like if this thing just execute step and right now in here you can see this message where it says that like telegram account and the send message will be the operation and the chat id again i'm just you know going with the telegram trigger and from here i'm actually giving the chat id in here that's it and the text will be this thing actually i manually type that and it will be an unchanged message every time i will see that and then the reply mockup none again i'm turning off the end and attribution okay that's all it is and that's how i just made this human and loop social media agent and every time it actually asks for me the response and also the clarification if needed and that's how you can actually do that for yourself by the way i had given this template link on the description if you need that go and just download that completely free and if you need this channel and this video helped you make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel please it will help me a lot and that's it guys peace out